Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the Carpedia Show. Um, Ford finally released the specs on a new Godzilla V8 um, for the upcoming under heavy duty vehicles, the, the 250, 350, all the way to the 650, as well as the E, e Series uh, chassis cabs, you know, like the ambulances, things like that, um, U haul trucks. And you know, the new motor makes 430 horsepower, 475 pound feet of torque, uh, makes it most powerful gas powered um, as far as horsepower and torque gas powered heavy duty vehicle uh, that you can buy and what's interesting about the vehicle is um, this is a cam in block design it's not a dual overhead cam engine uh, Ford went with that for simplicity um, ease of maintenance down the line uh, also um, has oil cool pistons Forge internals, things of that nature, variable displacement oil pump to ensure oil, um, basically to ensure that you know, the right amount of oil always gets into the, the engine uh, no matter the load RPMs. Uh, so this is a very interesting um, engine. I know a lot of people are probably figuring out like, you know, in the terms of downsizing and turbocharging, why would Ford go to such a big engine? And it's simple, uh, reliability, um, really big engine, uh, Riven really, really slowly. It's always more efficient than a smaller engine. Uh, making the same amount of power, having a rev higher, or using force induction. So, that's why Ford went with it. Uh, and even in the, the heavy duty, um, like the F450, F550s, things like that, it's actually detuned. Um, instead of making 430 horsepower, it makes around uh, 380. So, um, it's, it's a pretty powerful unit. Um, and of course, you know, it's detuning those applications because nine times out of ten, those are fleet vehicles. Uh, you know, those are given to employees. They're, they run really hard. And detuning the engine, probably they probably just lower the rev limit. It's not like the turbo where they can limit the turbo boost. Um, and detuning the engine, they just ensure that, you know, it's going to be reliable for years on down the road. So tell me what you guys think about that. You know, Ford developing the all-new V8. Uh, they've been doing this for a while. They've been developing this engine for quite a while. So what do you guys think about Ford developing all new V8? Something as large as that, like I said, 7.3 liters, 445 cubic inches um, of displacement. When you think it was a wise decision, you think they should have turned more of their resources um, into, you know, an EV and all electric uh, drivetrain um, for his vehicle. Also, um, they developed an all new 10 speed. Uh, it's different than the 10 speed that um, is used in the light duty trucks. Um, Ford says only about 6% of the parts carry over, none of the torque maintenance parts or anything like that. Uh, so, ten, the 10 speed only weighs 3.5 pounds more than the 6 speed, so it's pretty interesting. So, tell me what you think. You think it's a good idea for investing all that money into a new large displacement V8 and a new 10 speed heavy duty automatic uh, for these vehicles? Or you think they should have used their capital and invested in elsewhere, you know, the future technologies and stuff like that? So what you guys think below in the comments. I'd like to hear from you. I uh, appreciate you guys checking in. Enjoy the rest of your day and evening. Um, check back with me tomorrow. I'll have some more news for you guys, okay?